Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you guys my skincare collection today. I'm sorry that this surface is so like stained up. I've had these drawers for several years now. Um, but let's get started. So my first skincare product that I have is this Freeman Hydrating Glacial Water and Pink Honey Gel Cream Mask. It is a peel-off one, I believe. I really like this one. I only have two of these because I don't really care for masks too much, but I like this one and then the other one that I have. So this and this are the same thing. It's the Beekman 1802 uh, milk shake toner, or yeah, milkshake toner. It's just the cap part, part broke off of here. So I put it into this one and I refill it as needed. I have those. I have 22 of these Sunday Riley A plus high dose retinoid system or serum packets because I got those when I worked at Ulta and um nobody was taking them so I just took them if they were gonna I wasn't I'll use them like I do use these regularly there were like 70 of them when I got them uh the next product I have is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm now this one you have to kind of like shake it a little bit for it to actually like pump out the balm part otherwise it just squirts out oil the next thing i have is this neutrogena hydro boost exfoliating cleanser as you can see it's almost gone i don't have much left of that i also have my tula the cult classic purifying facial cleanser this is one that i use most often um but i think once i've used up all of my cleansers and such i'm gonna have to switch to a different one because this one's not working on my skin as well as what it used to so we gotta figure that part out i also have the peach and lily power calm hydrating gel cleanser i do not like this at all i did get this one for free as well when i worked at ulta i just i don't care for it um this exfoliating gel mask and scrub from freeman i really like because of the exfoliating part i really do enjoy something that exfoliates my skin it helps quite a bit i have this duralogica daily super foliant it doesn't work very good like i use this and my skin still feels like bumpy and rough whereas when i use this it's pretty smooth which is why i like this so this one's fine i'll use it it's just not my favorite thing i also have the um glowish honey balm moisturizer or not glowish wishful from huda beauty it's fine i think it has too many um, oils in it to really be like a good moisturizer it's a really good like body butter or it's kind of also very good at melting makeup off like sometimes when I can't find a balm I use this that's how much that's how like melting it is I also have the inky list the omega water cream moisturizer this is lovely this is beautiful I would repurchase this a thousand percent so I also have the Tula Skin Care Get Tone Pro Glycolic Acid 10% Resurfacing Toner. Again, I think I might just have to switch to something either different or stronger if there is anything stronger. Because this used to work so well on my skin. And it does not work as well as what it used to probably two or three years ago. So we're going to try something different. I have this little mini The Clinique All About Queen Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. I forgot I had that. I've never tried it, but I forgot I had it. I also, this is my favorite Freeman mask. I also have the Freeman Cleansing Apple Cider Vinegar Clay Mask and Scrub. I like this one because it draws out, like, all the gunk from my pores a lot of times. Um, when I use it, I don't use it very often, but I do enjoy it when I use it. 
So I have this mini of the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. I think I've used it like twice. So I'm going to finish using that up. Um, I have the Revolution Beauty Salicylic Acid Toner. This one has a whole bunch of writing on it because I got it for my brother to use on his skin. And he never used it. So rather than let it go to waste, I just took it back. Um, but... I have the St. Ives Fresh Skin. This I might put in my body scrub drawer because I do not use this on my face. I use this like on my, my armpits, on my legs. I use it more of like a body scrub than a face scrub. So I'm going to put this in my body care drawer. So I figured the next thing we could talk about is serums because as you can see, I have several. Now, most of them are the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10%. One, because like I said, I like exfoliants. I like physical exfoliants on my face. I like chemical exfoliants on my face. I never do them both at the same time, but this worked super well for me. So I just, I stocked up on it. Plus when I worked at Ulta, I would get some for free. So that's why I have so many of these. The next one that I have is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% because I would use this, or no, what would I do? I would use this and then this in conjunction and it made my pores look much smaller and my oil control was much better. So this is the Revolution Beauty 2% Salicylic Acid Blemish Serum. Again, I bought this for Nate, but he doesn't use it, so I just took it back. I have a Hyaluronic Acid Serum from The Ordinary. This one is another Hyaluronic Acid. I have the Inculist Collagen and Peptide Serum that I really enjoy. Uh, this one is a Revolution Beauty Prevent Willow Bark Extract um, Serum. And then it's a lactic acid. And then I believe I have this 111 Skin 3 Phase Anti Blemish Booster. And then I also have this Strivectin Multi-Action Super B Barrier Oil. I love this stuff. It's so good. I've used almost half the bottle up, but I really do enjoy this product quite a bit. It is very expensive. This is one of the things that I got for free when I worked at Ulta. But probably one of the best things you can get for your skin. Even if you have oily skin, it works really well. It doesn't leave your skin feeling oily which i think is important um so i think i would end up repurchasing this at some point like once all of this is gone oh this is just a mini um of the same tula cleanser that i showed you guys earlier i just got it as a trial size when i worked at ulta and then i also have this la roche posay Tolerine Double Repair Matte Moisturizer. This is really good if you have oily skin. Um, I would be cautious with what you put under it or over it because it can pill. But it is a really good, like, moisturizer. I have the Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. I don't love this for the exact same reason I don't love the Dermalogical one. It's good. It just doesn't work super great for what I want it to do on my skin. Proactive Mineral Acne Cleanser. It works. It cleans my skin. I don't know that it really does anything to prevent acne. The Soul 2 eye creams that I have are both from Milani. Um, and they are both about done. I have the Peptide Moisturizer from the Inky List. As you guys can tell, I was really, I really do enjoy like moisturizers. I had at one point very dry skin, and so that's what I would grab for when I worked at Ulta in the gratis bin. This is the Olay Vitamin C Regenerist Moisturizer, and then I also have this one from Botanics. Uh, it has sunscreen in it, SPF 15, which doesn't do much, but. For me, it works fine because I really only go from my house to a car, from a car to a building. I don't get that much sun exposure. This is the moisturizer I'm currently using right now, which is also one that I got for Ulta, or from Ulta when I worked there. The Beauty Bio Zen Bubble. Um, I quite like it. I think it's thick enough 
to be moisturizing without being so thick that I can't, it doesn't absorb into the skin. And then this is my baby. I love this stuff. The It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I don't know what I, it is about it, but I love it. It's thick without being too thick. It absorbs really well into the skin. It looks great underneath makeup. I can use it for everything and it works. Like I, like I said, I don't know what it is about this stuff, but it just, it works. Like I noticed when I used it in conjunction with some of my other products that my dark spots started to go away. Uh, my skin looked less red. It looked less irritated. And I just, I really enjoy this. So this is my child. I love this product. Um, but anyway, you guys, that is it for today's video. This was just like showing you what I'm starting out with skincare wise. Let me turn this thing around. This was just supposed to be showing you what I'm starting out with skincare wise for 2024. Um, because I'm not going to be buying any new skincare until this is gone. Like, that's my whole thing. Unless, you know, like, I can't buy another cleanser until all those cleansers are gone. I can't buy another exfoliant until all those exfoliants are gone. I can't buy any more serums until all those serums are gone. You know what I mean? Like, I cannot do it. That is part of my no-buy. Um, so anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and leave me a comment down below.